Welcome to this video talking you through some of the handy features in Planet eStream. This system allows you to select and save free to view off-air recordings of stations like the BBC and ITV. Here is what we're going to cover and when, how to access Planet eStream, how to request an off-air recording, how to access the TV and radio archives, how to create a clip or short section of an off-air recording, how to create a quiz. You can access Planet eStream from the Star Portal here is the location for that. So it's on the Learning Hub Teams webpage and just scroll down to the right link. This is the website you can see when you log in and search what is already been selected by other tutors or use the categories to navigate. You can request an off-air recording using the Create menu from the top ribbon. Select Record TV. From here you can locate the programme you want. So click on the title to request it as a recording. So this pop-up box will appear. Please select a category in the pop-up box as it will not save until you've chosen one. So choose the one that's most relevant but make sure you choose something. Should you want a more comprehensive explanation of how to select and the functionality of our fair recordings, go to the tool menu on the ribbon and select the Academy section. Another source where you can get access to and record um, videos and resources is the TV and radio archive. In addition to being able to record current broadcasts, you can access the BBC archive and some blended learning consortium content. See, I'm at the categories section of, I'm now going to go to the ribbon and select create TV and radio archive. I'm just going to search for Horizon so you can see some of the BBC content. This is how to select a program to be saved to the Planet e Stream platform. I'm just going back to the home for TV and radio archive. Now let's click on blended learning consortium content. I'm going to scroll down so you can get a flavour of what is available. Okay, I'm going to leave my tour of this feature here. However, you'll find more comprehensive resources on how to use this tool. If you go to the ribbon and select Tools and Academy and to find out more about all the features, the section you need in Academy is TV and radio resources. How to create a clip. We will now navigate back to the categories on Planet eStream. I'm going to use the animal care section. Now the video has been selected, I'm going to choose the edit video icon to choose the clip I want to use. This is on the right of the screen. Creating a clip is a useful way to show students the most relevant information quickly in a session. Now there are lots of options in the video editor. Today we're going to focus on the steps needed to create a clip and nothing beyond this. The first step is finding the right point in the video we want the clip to start. Click on the stopwatch so the system knows the correct time for the video to start. Now select the second stopwatch to select when the clip stops. So you've selected the little bit of the video you want to see. From here choose add clip. This will add it to the new video file you are creating. Save the clip with a meaningful name. When you have decided on the name click create. Finally, submit the new video file. This will be sent for the system to process. You will receive an email when this process is complete. It is a good plan to do this the day before you're going to use the video. You'll find the clip in the same category as the original video you created it from. 
how to add a quiz, let us return to the categories page. We are going to add a quiz to one of the animal care recordings. Let's navigate to this now. On the right of the screen, there is a variety of options to make use of the video. We are going to go to the select quiz option. Where's a new quiz? We need to open the quiz ed editor. If there's already a quiz, you can select the quiz here. I've gone into quiz editor. The video will load options to create a quiz below the actual video when you've gone into quiz editor. The first thing I'm going to do, go to the right point in the video to ask the question. We're there now. To start the process, select a new timeline, which is the left hand option on the grey icons menu. As always, this is a good idea to choose a meaningful title before selecting create. As you can see, there is a variety of questions you can add to the video. I'm going to select the true or false question for speed. In addition to selecting the right answer, you can give feedback on the question before you confirm you need to complete filling in all these sections. So when you're happy with the question, confirm and you can continue to ask questions to add information to the quiz. When you're happy with all the content, click save. At this point, you can choose to publish the quiz or to keep it hidden. If you publish it as a tutors in your department can make use of it. Alternatively, you can keep it unpublished and use it with your group only. Unpublished quizzes will be located on your home, which can be found on the top right of Vanity Stream. Go to the Your Media tab to locate your quizzes. Thank you for watching this screencast talking you through some of the key features in Planet Eastream. So if you have any questions please get in touch with your Learning Hub team. Thank you.